Exactly four minutes past eight now. Would you like to hear Jaguar's Kills and Nano Windows one more time? It's only 51 seconds. Yes, please. If you've just woken up and your clock radio's just gone off, you're just lying in bed, good morning, I'm Chris Moyles. It's Wednesday the 15th of July in the year of our Lord, 2009. It's time to wake up. <laughs> Lady in the window, looking at the window. Oh, it's the nana, the nana, nana window. All she does is wave every day. Wave to the people, say it's nana, nana, nana window, looking at the window. Big window for the nana window. Nana window, everybody sing. Today is Harry Potter Day on Radio 1. Edith Bowman is live from the Harry Potter film set. But how, Chris, how can she be there when the film's already been made? She's on the set for the next movie, which is currently ah. being made. Uh, yeah, Sarah Cox later on has uh, the lovely Emma on the show, Emma Watson, who plays, uh, as you would say, Herman and Una. Hermione. 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 Granger. That's right. Uh, Scott, later on this afternoon, has got Rupert Grint. However, we've got the big dog, Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, with Dominic Byrne, coming up in two records time. It's Harry Potter Day on Radio 1. Five past eight. Morning, everybody. Jai Ho, raise the light, and then we'll do Harry Potter. Mr. Daniel Radcliffe. Raise the light and golden touch. I haven't heard that for a long time. It's nice. That's 13 minutes past eight. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the show. It's the Chris Moyle Show. We're a lot nicer than people say we are. BBC Radio. Radio One. Ra- 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 radio. Ra- ra- I'll, I'll go high. I'll go. Radio One. And then I'll lower it in. <coughs> Beautiful. Mm. Now, what would you like? Would you like this? Or would you like this? BBC Radio 1 It's Harry Potter Day on Radio 1 I don't know, which one's better? I think the first one is more dramatic The first one? Yeah Is more dramatic? Yeah I think it's a bit of both because this is more conducive to have Okay, both? Not at the same time Oh, okay, alright, sorry You could start with the big one and then go into the Go into this the one. little one uh, <laughs> good morning, everybody. <laughs> so, Dominic? Yes. It's time for when Harry met Slappy. Met, met me. Slaphead. No. Um, so, it's Harry Potter Day on Radio 1. No, don't do that. You're... Det- oh, excuse me. You're detracting from the importance of the fi- of the item. I'm sorry. Um... So I went to... As By the way, I want to say good morning to all the Harry Potter film crew, in case they're listening, and yeah. people in makeup and people are driving in. Good morning, Harry Potter people. Oh, we'd love to come and have a look at the set. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you. I see what you a- did there. Aled, Aled has contacts. No, I know, but... You were saying only yesterday But that it, his, his contacts aren't big in the Harry Potter world. He's, it's Warwick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> is he in Harry Potter? Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah, One of the what, teachers. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> And he was reading a story on CBeebies uh, two nights ago. Was he? And yes, I've got his yes, hat. Have you? Yes, yeah. you have. Yeah. I've got Warwick Davis's hat. Mm. Yeah. He's seen my bare bottom. Yeah. Yes, he right. has. <laughs> anyway. I think we should start this again. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Dominic, over to you. Okay. Well, I met Daniel Radcliffe, who, that's his real name, but he plays Harry Potter. Give over. In the Harry Potter films. Yes, sir. The new film is called Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, mm-hmm. which I've seen, and it's Seriously, very good. And I suggest if you are going to see it, you're... No, but this one particularly, very good. Okay. Um, so we did what we usually do when we do these kind of interviews. We met up in a very nice posh hotel with a big clipboard outside saying Harry Potter interviews. And I signed in. It's not important how I registered, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, and then I sat down. By the way, 
Um, if you enjoy the clips of the interview on the radio, you can also watch the video by going oh. to the, the Chris Moyle Show pages at I Radio 1 Online. I did not know that. Yes, you can. I might watch it now while you tell me about it. Well, you, well possibly. There is a link from the homepage. Yes, right, there let's is. get on with it, can we please? Okay, fine. So, I said hello. Isn't That's how the interview started. Daniel Radcliffe, hello. Sir. Hello. It, very, oh, you sound a bit... Whoa. I know, I did. I went really deep then. I don't yeah. know why. I it's just cute. I was compelled. Great start. I'm intrigued. You've hooked me in already. Exactly. He had a deep voice. Why did he have a deep voice? There's no reason. No. It doesn't bear any relation. So, I've seen the film. It is very good. Lots of people are saying the new film is quite scary in places. Mm. Lots, lots of dark moments. But I've just found it very funny. The amount of people that have come and said, oh my God, it's, it's really funny. It's, it's a kind of a rom-com has really surprised me. Because, yeah. of course, you, you film... Like you film so out of sequence that you end up filming, you know, one month and do all the rom com stuff in that month, and then yes. you totally you move on, and and it's it's bizarre. So to suddenly hear everyone, because also in my head the film's not about the romance at all; it's about all the dark stuff. Right. Some of the stuff in there is seriously quite scary. Dark. Mm. Especially the without giving away what happens, there's a scene towards the end, which is quite scary. I am legend scary. Okay, all right. Seriously. No, nice. Right, so he is a very busy man. He's obviously promoting this film yeah. all around the world, as he's been doing. Um, I just wanted to know whether he would like a break from all the promotional work and to join me, because uh, I have pressures too, doing this show and bringing up children. And the place I like to escape to from all the pressures is, of course... The zoo. I've got a couple of passes to my oh, local zoo. Which if you zoo? Whipsnade Zoo. Oh, that's meant to be rather good. It's br rather good. It's yeah. very good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've heard of Whipsnade yeah. actually, and I may, I may, I may go, but I'm not sure I'm going to have time to go with you. But I will promise that I'll go. And okay. if you like, you can leave a cardboard cutout of yourself at the desk, okay. and I'll take that with me. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, and he's, he's as crackers as you. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what? He's in a nice way. He's a bit. He's a bit nuts actually. I think he's, he's bound to be. Yeah. Because it's you know he's probably the most famous teenager in the world. I'm watching the video now, Dominic, and yeah. you look rather good. I look rather good. Mm, yes. yes. Thanks a billion. 